Hi guys, it's me Samantha here today and we are going to talk about the new Huda Wild in Jaguar. I ordered two of the other ones out of the four collection but they haven't gotten here in the mail yet and I figured I might as well give this one the attention um, since I have it. If you are new to my channel, my name is Samantha and I am a makeup enthusiast. I do a lot of first impressions and eyeshadow um, reviews and if you enjoy those types of videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button uh, down below. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of get into it. This is the kind of like purpley, um, smoky of the four palettes and I really really wanted this one and I got the two colorful ones the ones that I refrained from I think was like a lion or tiger it was very yellow and I felt like it wasn't really gonna pop on my skin tone all right so I wanted to create two looks using the palette I already did most of my face and yeah I wanted to get started I'm gonna do a couple swatches on my wrist for you so one of the things about this palette that's just like all the other nine pen palettes there's really not any shade names um so i'm just gonna go by how they are on the pan so this is kind of like the beigey color and i'm gonna swatch that i did not put any primer or anything on my you know arm for the swatches so you can see it's really light um what you expect the next shade in that same row is the black shade so we're going to swatch the black i usually don't swatch before i use the palette because i don't want to misjudge the palette but i figured why not today i was in the mood for it so the next shade in that row is this purpley plummy shade it's a little softer than some of her other eyeshadow formulas from the 9 pm anyway it's not as soft as the um ones from the medial retrograde can you please focus so you can see it's like a smoky purple i'm gonna try to layer that up one more time And we're going to get into the next row. We're going to swatch this shade here. kind of looks like plummy but brown at the same time. I think that's quite accurate too. There you go. Then the middle shade which has that really cool imprint in there very like a lilac this is kind of a toppery shade because it has a lot of glitter not very good at swatches then we have this like marbled effect shade here it has like um looks like pewter It's like a pewter shade-ish with a little bit. Of, it's like some gold sparkles in there. We're going to go into this silvery shade right here. The next one is this like dusty purple. These are very creamy. They do not really feel like any of the other 9pm formulas. I'm so bad at this. So that's what that one looks like. And then we have one more. And it's the gold color. I don't use golds that much. So, you know, usually yellow palettes always have like a gold. And I'm just not intrigued by that. I'm going to actually just swatch it up here. very metallic 
what you expect from a gold. <laughs> this is all the colors. So yeah, let's get using this. I actually kind of like having this swatched out my arm because I can like plan out what I'm thinking a little bit. All right, so we're going to zoom you in and we'll start painting the face. All right, guys, I primed my eyes with my Milani eye primer. I think what I really want to do is try something different. So I'm going to actually go in with this beige shade in my crease because I'm going to use the black and I don't want it to get too messy. So I'm going to use that as like a little transition. That actually like shows up quite a bit. So if you were doing like a nudie look and use that on your lid, I think it would show up quite well. All right, I'm going to take this pointed like a very small pointed brush. This is the Morphe M507 and go in with the black. Hopefully I don't mess this up. I'm going to try to yeah, swipe it up and then go like this. This is kind of what I do when I want to give myself kind of a cat eye-ish shape because my eyes are very downturned not very I mean I've there's people with way more downturned eyes but because of the shape of my eye I tend to make a lot of weird squinty faces because I don't want to pull on my skin. All right, I think that looks pretty good. I'm surprised I didn't mess it up yet. <laughs> and I want to take this shade here all over the lid. I think that would be kind of fun. It's not something I would normally do. I actually really love that it's like a black base with a gold sparkle on it it's very cool like a gunmetal with gold sparkles it's really cool and that was fun I'm gonna take this with the black I'm not adding anything on it I'm just seeing if I can like pull that just a tad in all right, so I want to then take the gold and use that as my inner corner. Ooh, that is really fun. Let me see if I, I'm going to try to clean this up a little. I think it's partially like just a little tiny scar that I have on my lid as well. I don't know if you can see it, but it is creating kind of a shadow there so I'm going to take the little beige and try to control the shadow a little okay now I'm going to blend it so it doesn't just look like a white patch okay very cool that looks spicy all right so let's do the other side and then we'll put on like mascara and stuff I'm really excited about I'm um, playing with this palette. It, it's really cool. <laughs> All right. And the shadows are just working so nicely. Like I'm really enjoying that. Um, so for the other eye, I want to go in with this dusty purple and then this plummy shade here. This formula is so good. So good. I'm going to move my mirror over here. Make it a little easier on myself. That is the dusty shade, which shows up really, really nicely. I'm going to take this M506, which is a little bit more rounded than that pointed one, and go into the plummy shade. And I'm going to 
have this side be less pointy and more rounded. I really like the tones of those shades there. Now add a little bit more of the plummy coat, the lilac -y color just above the outer part. I'm going to take this purple here and put that all over the lid. It's a little drier so it doesn't go on nice and smooth like the last shade. Yeah, it's better to like press it in and then to swipe. And then I'm going to take that center shade, the lighter one, and put that just over the center to make it pop. And then I'm going to take the silver shade here and put that in my inner corner. Very cool. Alright, so I'm going to do my under eyes and put on some mascara and show you the final look with, you know, mascara and all that. So, give me a second. I'll be back. I don't know why I do that. I put on makeup just so I can, like, sip things and leave marks all over them. But, okay. This is the final look with the new Huda Wild Jaguar palette, which has this really cool packaging that you can't see in camera. <laughs> but I promise it's really cool. These are the two looks that I did that I I'm really really quite happy with I think they look stunning the colors are gorgeous like I might need to like do this for a date night like I wouldn't have like thought of this and yet here it is and it looks so pretty and this one's like just gorgeous like any you know the I I am so shocked at how good the formula it is in this palette in comparison to like the other obsession palettes that she's had. I feel like when she did the nudes those are really really good but these are even better so she's just improving and improving and improving and I'm quite happy with this eyeshadow palette. I can't wait to get the other one so that I can play with them and show you guys how they look and yeah as you can see from this video they were super easy to work with and I'm really excited I love it if you were thinking about getting this then I would tell you yes go ahead so lastly I just want to say if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it give it a thumbs down and until next time love you guys Mwah. bye